aka C Sprinkle Run Online, and I am a cosplayer, mostly known for Magic the Gathering cosplay. When did you start cosplaying, and how many characters have you done? Oh my god, um, that's a lot. I've been cosplaying since like 2003, 2004-ish, and I have so many costumes, it's not even funny. Like, I have to have like really close to over... Like over, like around a hundred, or just a little bit over a hundred. Uh, you told us that you do uh, magic, but have you uh, have you done anything else besides magic? Magic, anything else? Anime, comics? Yeah, I started out actually with anime cosplay, um, specifically Sailor Moon. So I have a lot of Sailor Moon cosplays. I do a ton of anime, and I'm just right now breaking into the comic book side of cosplay and have collected like a good six or so comic book cosplays. So a little bit of everything. Video games, you name it, I got it. Something from it. From beginning to end, how long does it take you to make the character you are cosplaying? Um, it really depends. Like on some of my armored costumes, it's taken anywhere from six to three months, or it's only taken like a couple of weeks. Like this costume was like a week. It was nothing. But some of my other ones, it's literally taken three to six months to build them. If they have props, do you also make their props? Um, most of the time I do. There's only a few instances where I've had, uh, like swords made or something light up made for me because I don't know how to do that but most of the time a simple prop yeah I always make it is there any skills that you don't know and want to learn um I would like to learn a few more different armor making ways like with like vacuum forming or like a couple of the mold making ways of making armor, I would love to learn that, but I have no idea anything about those. Which cosplay that you have done is your favorite? Oh, that's hard. I have a lot of favorites, and I would have to say it changes with like the season. My current favorite one though has to be, I really love my Liliana vest from Magic, because she has a little bit of armor, a little bit of, you know, cloth. She's got a little bit of everything that I really like, and she's evil, and it's fun being evil. Is there a, is there, is there, your, is there a reason that you cosplay the characters that you have cosplayed, and, and uh, why that character? Um, I usually choose the character because there's something that really really speaks to me about it. There's something that I really want to, like, maybe it's just something I really want to make or want to try and take the challenge up of making it. Or, uh, I've like, a couple of the characters, I've just, you know, I've played through that video game ever since I was a kid, and I just really want to be my favorite, you know, cartoon hero. So there's always something. I, there's something that just speaks to me, and I want and it, I just want to bring that to life. Last question. Two parts, and you do not have to answer both of them. Okay. <laughs> One. Can you give your thoughts and words to all the people out there who cosplay? Always cosplay for fun. If you aren't happy with something, then fix it to where you are. Don't cosplay for anybody else. Cosplay for you. Always, just always have fun. That's the biggest thing I can just stress: is always have fun. Can you give your thoughts and words to people and other cosplayers who put down and make fun of people who cosplay? Um, haters can go somewhere else. Screw you. Uh, you're the reason cosplay has a bad name, and you can go somewhere else, some other fandom. Thank you. <laughs> if people wanted to get more info and updates on you, where can they go? Um, anywhere that says C Sprinkle Run, that's C S P R A N K L E R U N, or just look up Magic the Gathering Cosway and I'll pop up somewhere. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with us today, everyone. C Sprinkle Run. Thank you so much.